Welcome back everybody. Today I want to talk about capturing behind the scenes footage at events, photography, videography, all of those things, in particular for us weddings. One of my goals for 2023 is to try to capture more behind the scenes footage to share with all the people who follow along of photo shoots, video shoots, and the things that we do. The way to capture that stuff is a bit of a mystery sometimes, like what's the best methodology? And everybody knows you can put an action cam on and all those things, but I always found that I didn't get the views I wanted sometimes or the angles that I wanted to be able to kind of see what's going on. So I leaned into kind of exploring some different options and playing around with different ideas this last wedding season. And I came across a couple of things. One of them, I, I did lean into watching some uh, footage that Taylor Jackson had captured, Sam Hurd, who I talked about in the last video, some people like that who are mainly doing photography, uh, but they were giving me some great ideas. So one of the options that I chose was the GoPro Hero 11. One of the things I like about this is that the Hero 11 with its larger sensor really is great at capturing video that stays with the horizon no matter which way the camera is angled. And if you're shooting wedding photography, that's particularly useful as you're rotating your camera in portrait and landscape shots. You needed something that was a little bit more universal in giving you that horizon leveled look. In many of the older GoPros, you had to buy the, the Max Mod to put on to get that kind of functionality. But with the uh, Hero 11, you can get both angles horizontal, no matter which way the camera's facing, which is really nice. So then it was about how do you mount it and how do you leverage it throughout the day and what's most comfortable? Because obviously you're, you're gonna be carrying this thing around all day. And there are several options that I tried and wanna talk about today, so I'm gonna walk you through those. One of the first most affordable options is this remote flash uh, bracket that you can buy on Amazon. This is very affordable and I'll put the pricing for you on the screen, but that coupled with like a small rig uh, right angle uh, quarter 20 holder can be bolted to this. You can throw a tripod mount on there and then suddenly you've got the ability to mount your GoPro into this and I'll show you how this works. Basically on the bottom of your camera, then you can just screw this in to the tripod connection, quarter 20. And then it comes down to just figuring out what works best as far as angle. There's a couple of problems. I mean, this is obviously this is really affordable, which is nice. But the downside is, is that it's kind of bulky um, and you have to be at a certain angle to still be able, if you're a person who shoots from the eye cup, you have to have this kind of angled back so that you can get both portrait and landscape. And it doesn't exactly work like you would like. There's also the option of putting it on this side, kind of doing this sort of a thing, you know? But again, it's pretty wide, it's pretty bulky, it's hard for you to hold on to, your, your wrist kind of gets in here. But it's certainly the most affordable way to do it. And folks like Taylor Jackson, they tend to go with this type of a setup in there. I also found that the other problem was it's hard to really keep it super tight. And all of these connection points have an opportunity throughout a wedding day to move around and get out of alignment. And once you kind of have it set up the way you want it, um, you want to kind of hold in place. But certainly dollar-wise, this is the cheapest way in which you can capture behind the scenes footage. The advantages of this are is that people can kind of see how you're sort of operating the camera. They're getting a peek right down the camera lens at seeing the things that you're seeing and then you can couple that with the photos that are captured from that. Um, this is also not really conducive for video uh, because unless you're shooting handheld, uh, which we do some, but you know, the gimbal action and all those things, it really doesn't work very well for that. So that's option number one. Let's talk about option number two. The second option is to get yourself a camera cage like this small rig cage, and that fits this a7 IV just fine. And as you can see, there's a microphone mount option here that I have placed a, a hole through. You can drill it, it's very soft, it's aluminum, so it's easy to drill. You drill a hole through there, get yourself a quarter 20 Allen head with a couple of washers at a hardware store, and you can mount to the top of this a tripod mount, GoPro tripod mount, 
which you can buy very affordably on Amazon. And basically, put it right through here. You have to get the right length and everything figured out. But the only thing you want to make sure is when you put it on here, make sure that the, Go the GoPro bolt is on the outside so it doesn't interfere with your, with your camera once it's in here. And then just try to get it in there straight, tighten it up, put your cage on. Small rig sends you this little tool to tighten this up. It magnetically sticks the bottom of the cage. And then you've got your camera cage with a GoPro mount right on the top. And yes, it adds a little bit of weight to the camera, but it does add a little protection as well. Gives you lots of places to mount things if you're into that. At that point then, you can put your GoPro on. Just like you always would. You can mount it and set the angle and you never have to worry about it being in the way. I think one of the things that you have to be aware of is that sometimes certain flashes won't fit now with this particular setup. That's a problem sometimes. I do have a flash trigger that works just fine in here. You put the trigger on and then I can trigger remotely. That's normally what I wind up doing. But that is something you need to be aware of. If you're someone who uses a flash and you're trying to capture it, this, this doesn't work well for that. Fortunately, if you did need to take it off, it is relatively quick to take off. It's even nice that they include the tool to be able to do it anywhere, anytime. But what's nice about this is it's always out of the way. Certainly, another option is to, to mount your GoPro right into the hot shoe. But then, of course, you can't use your hot shoe for anything. No microphones, no um, flashes or anything like that. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So let's talk about option number three, because there is another option that I have been using that I find works okay that sort of eliminates having it attached to the camera and the disadvantages and advantages of that. One of the options is to get yourself something like this clip. This is the magnetic clip from GoPro themselves. And then you can mount your GoPro um, straight to this clip. And what's nice about it is, is that it tilts and rotates. So once you have it on here, The clip not only moves in this direction, but it also will rotate on here like this. And it is magnetic, although I don't really use that much. Last video I talked about the crossbody sling bag that I was using, and this is really great for that crossbody sling bag. You can clip it onto that bag and then adjust accordingly. And because this GoPro has the horizon leveling function, it doesn't matter if it gets off a little bit then it's really just about as your angle correct to capture what you want. There are some downsides to this. The downside is, is that if, you're, if your body gets turned like this, then sometimes the angle gets off to the side. So you do have to keep that in mind. Uh, the other disadvantage is, is it, you're not looking down the camera body itself. So the viewer doesn't really get the perspective of seeing exactly what you're shooting. Also, if you're like me, sometimes when I'm shooting photography, I'm shooting like this, sideways. Like, I'm not always perpendicular with my body shooting straight like this. Sometimes I'm like this. Sometimes I'm like this. Sometimes I like to turn because I hold the camera and rest it on my body like this. This doesn't work great for that because then it's facing forward even though your camera's pointing that way. So I think ultimately having it attached to the camera is the best. I have seen other people mount the GoPro using you know, one of these tripod mounts upside down on the bottom of the camera. But then the problem with that is I can never set the camera down anywhere if I wanna take it off. How you have to set it on your side and you've always got this camera hanging underneath. So that's another problem with that particular setup. It's nice because then you can not have to worry about you know, your flash or any of those things. So that is a fourth option, I guess, but not one that I've exercised. So I hope this is helpful. I'll put part numbers and all the stuff that I have purchased to kind of make this work in the description for you so you can see. But the idea is to utilize an action camera in some form or fashion about capturing behind the scenes stuff for the day so that we can share it with other people. They can see what the day is about. I think it's really helpful for the 
potential brides and grooms out there too because sometimes you don't know what is a wedding day like and how are your photographers or videographers involved in the day. Uh, most people don't realize that we spend more time with the bride and the groom than they spend with each other on that day, honestly. So choosing your vendors wisely is important. So I hope that that will also highlight those things for, for potential brides and grooms. I hope this is helpful. If you have questions or comments, I'd love your feedback in the, in the description or the comments below. I'd like to hear what you're using, what's worked best for you, or if you think that there are improvements that could be made with this. Uh, I'm always open to ideas. I'd like to learn more too. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.